We are in uh, next to uh, Marsaba's uh, monastery, which is the Greek Orthodox monastery. It started from, let's say, 1500 years ago. And uh, it's such a beautiful one. It's been destroyed so many times. What you see is mainly from 12th century. Uh, you can see here the wall and the towers are from the Crusader time. Uh, Masabas is one of the first Christian Sinway fathers uh, on the third, uh, third um, uh, generation of monks. Today there are only 15 monks, uh, the color blue is all, all over. I, didn't, I don't remember if I mentioned that it's a Greek Orthodox place. Um, inside a monk, the monastery, you can find the body of, uh, of Marsabas and it looks like he died yesterday and he died at the 7th century, the middle of the 7th, 7th century. Beautiful view of the Kidron Valley is from here. And if you will wait a little bit, I will go to that place where the man is standing and I will show you uh, the view from there. Wait with me please and I will talk about how the monks actually, what the monks are doing it, are doing every day in almost every hour. I promise you another view of, uh, uh, of, the, uh, of the monastery. Beautiful, isn't it? Uh, sadly, it's closed now. Uh, two reasons, coronavirus, COVID-19, and it's usually open until 2 p.m. Uh, they're not talking. Uh, they're, not, they're not dealing with money. Uh, there's only one person here that deals with it. Um, it's hardly to hear them talking when they are, they are eating the, the only meal a day around 10.30 in the morning, 10.30 uh, a.m., uh, it's a very simple one and they're not talking. One of the monks will read from the Bible or read stories about the monasteries and, the, and Masaba. You can actually walk down the Kidron Valley and climb all the way up to see the beautiful side of the monastery from the other side of the Kidron Valley. The Kidron Valley is the valley that divided Jerusalem and Mount of Olives and ants at the Dead Sea. Uh, they are starting their day at midnight. Whoa, yes. And then they're praying for four or five hours. They are eating a simple meal like a coffee and a bread or a piece of cake. And then they are working until 10.30 in the morning. They are eating their lunch or the only, uh, only meal for the day and they are going to work, everyone is doing something else, Just one of them is cleaning, the other one is guarding, uh, the other one is dealing with finance and, and buying the, the food and the materials that they need. Um, you can see that those three people is standing, uh, you can see that there's another tower that is for women. Women can, are not allowed to go into that monastery. The only way that, the only place that they can be is there then. If one of the, uh, let's say, mothers of the monks are uh, visiting him, she is not staying with him in the monastery, she is staying with him in that tower. Amazing, isn't it? It's the last hour of sun. It's almost the sunset here and look, it's shining. It's, it's amazing. Then Marsabas Monastery is in front of you. Absolutely a good place to visit. Two things. Uh, that area is part of Israel, but the road that reached to that monastery is um, from the Palestinian Authority. Then if Israelis wants to visit the place, they have to reach that area with their own cars and then to use the stairs and to climb all the way up. Beautiful Marsabas.